here we start some conversations, we continue some conversations, and we come to some resolutions, and we start new conflicts, new issues come up. Um, every year, by this time, people who know me know that by this time I'm crying, not because of anything else, just because I'm thankful, humbled, and I also feel like, oh my God, I can't give this work up. <laughs> Every year, I, when I'm preparing for the conference, I'm like, okay, this one will be the last one. And I, I now people make fun of me when I start that conversation. It just, every year, it makes me realize that Alhamdulillah, this is growing. The family of Muslim mental health providers are growing. The family of people who are concerned about Muslims and their mental health is growing. So we have family, we have friends, and we have resources. One important, uh, um, so I, I'm constantly asked this question every year. What is this conference? Is it academic? Is it community? Is it uh, advocacy? What are you trying to do here? The only thing I'm trying to do here is build a community. <laughs> this, is, this is not research based. Um, it is research, but not research based. It is community outreach, but not only community outreach. It's a needs based conference. And since the nine years, unfortunately, we as community have been in crisis mode. So in the end, this conference almost, I run from one end to the other, and I'm always over, over book it. I put 20 people on a panel, and I, I tell, trick them, say 20 minutes, and trick them. And, and, Snatch mics. Idea. We will never. The work that you all are doing, 25 years, 10 years, 15. It cannot be summarized in five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes. Idea is to give people the snapshot and hope that these conversations turn into collaborations, turn into something meaningful, and which translates for the community. So again, I, I'm extremely thankful, and we, alhamdulillah, this time we are much organized, much uh, becoming more like a consortium and a family. Um, tenth one is already finalized, March 15th to 17th in DC, and I will let you announce the title. It's a, it's, yeah, please. It's a big title. <laughs> so, um, come, come and join Okay, just quickly, the reason we are going to Broad Museum tomorrow and the breakfast would be served there, we will walk, it's right across. It's designed by a Muslim woman. Oh. Yeah. But unfortunately, we recently lost her, but uh, Zaha Hadith was uh, an Iraqi, and she designed it. She was one of the top architects in the world. So let's take it as a moment of pride, not only a Spartan pride, but a Muslim pride. So uh, we will walk here, have breakfast, and we will come back so that some of you who want to check out can check out. Then the vans would be waiting right outside Marriott, and they will take you to our local Islamic center. Is it a local Islamic center? Our great dynamic imam is here. Please give us some prayers. And I would request, uh, uh, please, if you can join us too. For, uh, yeah. Is it going to be on the uh, oh, yes. contact, the more, list, uh, contact list for people to stay in communication? Absolutely. We will work on that. Yes. Yes. And um, 
for those who are, are interested in this refugee conversation and want to continue the dialogue, we after, right after this are heading towards Sultan. Um, and we will um, have dinner and continue the conversation there. So, Iman. Let's pray, let's heal, and let's continue the good work.
People make much profession of goodness. Others find fine words because they wish to be thought greater and better than their fellows, seeking fame in the eyes of the world. Those who do the most good use fewest words concerning their actions. The children of God do the works without boasting, obeying his laws. My hope for you is that you will ever avoid tyranny and oppression, that you will work without ceasing till justice reigns in every land, that you will keep your hearts pure and your hands free from unrighteousness. This is what the near approach to God requires from you, and this is what I expect from you. First of all, thank you so much for giving me the opportunity. This has been an eye-opening experience for me personally. Um, can we hear it one more time for Dr. Parab Asim? <laughs> bless you. May Allah bless you. Give you the happiness of this life and the, the next. And uh, also for our volunteers who have done an excellent job. <laughs> one of the things uh, which is, you know, which is amazing is uh, for me personally. There are verses in the Quran which end with a specific phrase. It says sometimes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Afala Don't you don't you have the intellect? Don't you think? Don't aren't you intelligent enough? Or so that you may achieve uh, intelligence. And this is how it has been traditionally translated. Now after attending this, this conference, wherever I'm coming across the word apple in the Quran, I am also looking for it uh, from it uh, the from the perspective of mental health. So I chose one of the verses which uh, you know, talks about this phenomenon, uh, how to gain mental health. Now I'm going to be translating these verses from a mental health perspective. And I hope that maybe in the future we'll uh, find a translation of the Quran from uh, a mental health perspective. Because now I'm, I'm looking at these verses and I'm saying, you know, SubhanAllah, Allah has talked about mental health in so many different ways 1400 years ago. So let me share with you one of the uh, ayat which we will close with, inshallah. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan Your best morals, your best character for your parents. 
and do not kill your children out of the fear of poverty. It is we who provide you and them. And do not go near Fawahish, shameful actions, whether it be open or secret. And do not harm or kill the innocent ones. This is the advice for you so that you may attain mental health. SubhanAllah, for me, it is about prevention. This verse is about prevention. And many of the verses in the Quran which talk about mental health, they look at mental health from the perspective of prevention. What can you do before the problem happens? Because we're talking a lot about what should we do after the problem, but then how can we avoid the problem in the first place? And for that, we need to have this spiritual link, this education, this understanding of who we are and what we're doing here on earth so that we could live lives which are productive, which are useful, which are in line with what our Creator sent us for. So I pray at the end that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses all of us, all the participants, the volunteers, the organizers. May Allah reward all of us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala open up new avenues of knowledge for all of us. May Allah bless our lives. May all of our lives be spent serving Allah and His creation. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us wisdom and understanding. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala unite our ranks. May Allah bring peace through us, justice through us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless all these people who are working for the refugees, for those in need, for those who are distressed, those who are sick, those who are suffering. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala replace the war with times of peace. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala replace the cruel evil leaderships with righteous, loving, just leaderships. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bring humanity together. May Allah bless us. May Allah make us follow the path that is pleasing to Him in this dunya so that we may attain Jannah, the real home, the real place where we will have perfect mental health, inshallah. Is that not it? Dr. Sherul al had a surgery. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant her uh, healing. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give her shifa. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make the healing process easy for her. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala relieve her from the pain, the difficulty of this healing process. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala replace you know, uh, her bad health, her difficult, uh, difficulty with ease and her bad health with good health. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless her and her family. Amen. Thank you so much.